Hello and welcome back for another tutorial on the Space Wide Rhythmic Multi-Delay for Reason. This time we will uncover a new feature available with version 1.1 of the device, the Feedback Breakout Outputs and Inputs. As usual we start with a sound source, here a synth lead. And here's the start the space patch we've plugged to the synthesizer and as you can see there's only two echo lines used. Now that we've got our basic setup, let's take a look at the back side of the device. The six feedback outputs and feedback inputs lets you insert any reason device inside each echo line's feedback loop. Now, let's try this out with a little lo-fi destruction by adding a Scream 4 device. As you can see, Reason automatically plugs it in series with the space device's stereo output, which is not what we want. Since Scream 4 is a stereo device, we can process two echo lines in parallel with the same device. Let's plug echo line 1 to the left channel and echo line 6 to the right. So, how does that sound? Mm, well, it certainly is very lo fi. You can hear the distortion on the echoes, but the decay is completely wrong. In fact, there is no decay at all. How come? Let's turn off everything on screen 4 first. By turning off the damage control, the decay time is back as usual. This is perfectly logical, as the decay time controls the feedback gain on each echo. If we insert a device inside the feedback loop that changes the gain of the signal, which our screen 4 does, the overall feedback gain will be wrong, yielding a shorter decay time or, in our case, a longer one. There are two ways we can correct this. First, by limiting the gain from screen 4. Unfortunately, this has the side effect of also lowering the levels of our echo lines. A better method is to leave the Scream 4 device gain on 0 dB and adjust the space decay time accordingly. And since the decay time depends both on the feedback gain and the delay length, if your echoes have different delay length, you might have to use the echo line's decay time offset knob to adjust it individually. Let's try to get some analog warmth by switching the destruction method on screen 4 to tape. This feedback gain is the only thing to keep in mind when working with feedback breakouts, so once you've got that under control, any other gain keeping device will work perfectly. Well that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to upgrade for free to the latest 1.1 version.